friends, um, I'm coming to you from California and I just wanted to give a shout out to Mad Main and to Mom the eBayer and, this, and Cherry Vintage. You guys have totally inspired me to take the eBay plunge and try my luck at selling on eBay. My problem is that when I go out thrifting I tend to buy things that I like for myself and um, now I have a surplus of things and I thought well I'm not going to be able to wear all of them so it would be a good chance even if I don't get quite what I paid for them because I wasn't buying them to resell just to you know maybe get back a little bit of my costs and then maybe focus on um, actually making a little bit of a profit. So I did start off and I sold, not sold, I listed um, a few, a few I don't know if you can see that. These are the things that I've listed so far on eBay. And I have a couple of um, offers. And I did this auction style because I'm not really ready to open up a store yet. I need to do a little more research on that. Um, um, Cian Saves is also a really good resource. And I'm watching her eMay series. Um, and I'm getting a lot of great ideas from her. But you know, I do have a full-time job and I know I'm not going to want to do this full-time and I don't want to be the kind of person that gets all excited about something and end up with like a whole room full of stuff that I need to upload and um, sell on eBay and then get myself, get in over my head, which kind of tends to be how I've approached things in the past. I'm trying not to do that this time. Um, so a couple of the things that I'm listing right now is this Madonna. It says, um, it's Gold Sheen, Gold Scheider, um, by P. Furo. This isn't a very good print on there, but I've seen better examples of this. However, I think this one is rare because she's in pink. This Madonna is in pink. And all the other ones I've seen, and my mother actually has one of these, are in, they're in blue. So um, I wasn't really sure what to list it for. The completed listings of those in blue, most of them seem to be selling for around $10. And I did pay, I think, $4.99 for this little one. So it's not going to be a great profit. But I went ahead and listed it, the starting bid, at $8.99. And I did have a lady from Austria contact me, and she asked me how much the shipping charges would be to Austria. And this is one of the reasons I really hesitated about eBay, because I don't really fully understand the international shipping. I know that there's some kind of a program you can have where you just mail it out and they do all the shipping for you, but um, I don't know enough about that yet. And um, so I'm just like, uh, I was hoping that mostly US buyers would be looking at my things. But um, anyway, the other thing that I'm listing are these beautiful shoes and they are by Jeffrey Campbell. And I do know a little bit about Jeffrey Campbell um, that they're high, high, high quality shoes. This shoe is all handmade, um, genuine leather. It's It says California, I think it's made in the United States. I'm not 100% sure. Um, these shoes are shoes I would wear if I could fit my feet into them. Well, I can fit my feet into them. <laughs> they're too big, that's the problem. These are a size 10 and I'm a size eight and a half. So I'm, I was really sad when I first saw them because I wanted them to fit me so badly. Um, because I would love to have owned a pair of Jeffrey Campbell shoes for ten dollars. Um, I think they retail over a hundred dollars. Now this pattern here is probably not the most popular of patterns. It's kind of you know that patchwork is probably going to appeal more to the older generation, my generation, not so much the younger girls. And the younger girls are the ones that are really loving the Jeffrey Campbell, um, their the platform boots and the super trendy and kind of weird looking, to me, weird looking shoe. Um, so if I had found that, I'm sure I would have been able to sell it. But uh, I listed these for $17.99 and um, because I saw them selling for like $25 or more and I thought maybe $17.99 was a fair price. And they are in really good condition. You can see there's very little wear. Um, so we'll see. I don't think I've had any, I've had some viewers, but I haven't had any watchers or bids on that one. And then the other thing that I was so sad to not fit into, this one's too small, it was this top. I just love this top. It is, um, it's just a very little camisole top. It's got great detail and it's by the brand Lynn and & Lynn and I did research on them too. And 
they're no longer in business, but they had very high quality clothes that were kind of boutique. There's a bee outside, don't come in. Anyway, um, this is a size four and I can fit into a size four normally, but this is a very, very size, small size four. It has a side zipper. It's a beautiful top, but it's just, I can't get it to zip up. And I listed it for, I forget now how much I listed it for, not very much. It would be a great piece for somebody, but they'd probably have to know what it was and be interested and be able to fit into it before I would get any buyers. So anyway, that's one of the, some of the things I've got listed right now. I'm going to make another film another video in a minute that's going to show you the things that I found today at a thrift store right next door to my gym that they're remodeling and so they're they're getting rid of everything and I got a couple of really nice things there. So I'm excited to film that and that will be in the next video. Talk to you later. Talk to you soon. Bye.